all these cans look the same, right? Well, except they are not the same. Hello guys, my name is Doke, this is Snow, and in today's raw video we are testing another special spray paint, Montana Black Infracolors. To be completely honest, when I was ordering this spray paint, I didn't really know what is so special about it, but the Infra title sounded really exciting. And right now, after I read the product information about this spray paint, it sounds even more promising. So let's try these beauties. Chappelle. So let's see. Okay. The first thing that I immediately notice is that these are pretty much classic cans. In the previous two episodes, I've been dealing with glitter and rust effect spray paint, and that was a completely different system, but this is a, this is a classic can. But the color inside of the can is very, very bright. I would say neonish. Let's do a quick comparison with a classic reddish, very bright reddish color. Right now, this red doesn't really look bright at all, next to the infrared. Seriously? Snow, I need to work. He says that he doesn't give a damn. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. He won't leave me alone. Anyways, this is the point. The point of the infra colors is that they are very bright. You almost have a feeling like they are lights and they shine straight into your face. Look over here. Here is a bunch of normal colors and then boom, infra, boom, brighter than all of it. So, this is kind of impressive, but I have to admit that I've been using this kind of cans before. But there is this one thing... Oopsie. There is this one thing about these colors that I didn't know before. And that feature, that's something. Let me show you. I'm gonna grab this piece of cardboard and I'm gonna apply a classic red color. And the infrared color. We're going inside because we need darkness. Pure darkness. And here we go. This is our cardboard and it looks exactly the same. There is absolutely nothing special, but check this out. Zebel. This is the feature. This is the thing I didn't know about. These colors shine in the darkness. But there is a little problem about this. This fact. You have to have the right lamp. <coughs> Sorry, flashlight. This is not a lamp, it's a flashlight. To be precise, this is UB flashlight with ultra violent blue, well, violent light, as you can see here. Normal light. UV light. I think you get it now. So right now I have two options. I either take these cans, I go to a normal wall and I paint a very, very bright painting, a very bright piece. That would be nice, but not all that exciting. Instead, I'll meet with a friend and we will go somewhere special so I can show you the full potential of these cans. And spoiler alert, I'll probably need more of these little flashlights. So see you there. And welcome to the tunnel. You know this tunnel. The last painting that I've done here is still right there. 
the Fast and Furious mural. However, you can hear sounds from the very back of the tunnel. That's the guest who's painting with me today. And this is the only place in this whole city that I know about where you have darkness 24 seven. Because even if I painted on that wall and I would come at night, it still wouldn't be completely dark because uh, there is a road above with uh, street lights. And I'm afraid that the effect wouldn't be so strong. But this, this is certain. So let's get to the very end of the tunnel. I'm actually not sure if I ever showed you the very end over here on YouTube. I definitely showed you on Instagram. Nonetheless, today you're gonna see. I'll definitely need the flashlight. And here is the star of today's video, Mr. Star. That's his name. You know who I am. Those of you who watch my channel for years, you know this guy. Uh, Perfect. I'm not sure if you can see something, but I see pretty well. Your eyes adjust to the darkness. That's why we are heading to the very end of the tunnel because the light doesn't get there. For those of you who are wondering what the hell this tunnel is, it's supposed to be a subway station, but they never finished it. Franco never died. Cool. Ah, that boy. Piero. 20 minutes of painting a day keeps doctor away. Okay. That boy is Svetlo. Look, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. No fear. Sorry. Okay, I have to check if you can actually see something. Yep, you can see something. So, if you ever wondered what's at the end of this tunnel, it's a subway train <laughs> painted on a wall and a painting of a tunnel and a ton of trash. And spiders. Ugh. And that small light that you see over there, that's the beginning of the town. You probably can't see much, but you can definitely hear what's going on. All right, we have an improvised sun. So we will actually see what we are doing. And we can start with the painting. I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Good. Let's see. Looks nasty. Is it like to make it on such that, eh? No, to je takúto divočinu s tým, že vlastne ja vidím si linky. Aha. Dobre, tak ja spravím takéto. No to si mi ty povedal.
Okay, right now we are gonna be working with a white color, but not an infra white, classic white. The thing is that in a normal light, the white is white, but in the UV light, it's black or dark purple, which is perfect for a shadow. Snow white, that's the color. Come on, buddy. Woo! Look at my shoes. I'm doing this shadow effect and it's playing with my mind. I don't really know where to place all these lines. Well, I know, but it's not accurate 100% all the time. It's been a few hours in the darkness and we are almost done. Right now comes the hard part to take beautiful videos and beautiful pictures. To be honest, that was the hardest part of this video to record it, to record the process. The flashlights are losing power, but I can already tell you that the infra colors are a ton of fun. I mean, it's awesome. I can't believe I didn't try this before. It would be also interesting to paint a super bright piece somewhere during the day and then come at night with UV light yeah see losing power and take pictures of that piece anyways guys if you enjoyed today's video thumb up would be awesome as always and let me know in the comments below what special tool should I try next time alrighty this is it
Landers. Would you? Thank you.